good afternoon everyone i am namrata dhadnikar phd student of uh, department of forensic science gujarat university and my guides uh, guide is dr uma hari krishnan from chemistry department saviors college amdavad gujarat and my co guide is dr kapil kumar from department of biochemistry and forensic science gujarat university so uh, my topic for today's conference is uh, in insights into applications of azo dyes in forensic science a review so uh, starting with the significance of uh, detecting amino acids drugs fingerprints in forensic science uh, as we know about the human body amino acids are present in the human body abundantly <clears throat> amino acids uh, are generally used as biological samples uh, for diagnosis of various diseases or for precursors of biomarkers it should be noted that uh, uh, amino acids are present uh, in blood plasma and urine and may exist either in free form or in limited form uh, additionally uh, we also know drugs have an intoxicating effect on the body or rather a fatal effect on the body so it becomes uh, uh, very crucial for detection of a drug in cases of rape murder and suicidal cases um additionally uh, we also know fingerprints can establish a strong relationship between a crime scene and a criminal now uh, coming to azo dyes azo dyes and the metal complexes have been extensively used as colorimetric and fluorimetric sensors to detect amino acids uh, drugs and uh, fingerprints azo dyes have many advantages over its strong chromophoric property and the uh, pro the property they have uh, it gives sorry advantages to, uh, sorry to interrupt you namrata but the, the slides are not changing so can you just change the slides uh yes ma'am so i will uh, go to applications of azo dyes in forensic science um they have been used as a fluorescent chemo sensor as a colorimetric chemo sensor and for detecting amino acids for detecting drugs such as date rape drugs and for developing fingerprints now uh, coming to the chemical structure of an azo compound it generally has a functional group of n double bond n that is uh, the azo bridge attached to an aryl group now the ex uh, synthesis examples of a uh, few azo ligands are a uh, copper complex of quinacridone ligand which has function as a fluorescent sensor for amino acids has been reported another ligand visual responsive optical probe diheptyl amino dinitrothiophenyl diazinyl phenol was synthesized for the detection of date rape drug another ligand methoxythiazole pyridine diazinyl phenyl aniline uh, this dye was uh, selectively yes ma'am all uh, still we can see the slide one is it visible now ma'am yes it's visible but it's not in the presentation mode so i would request that uh, keep on changing the slides um yes ma'am <clears throat> and also kindly uh, finish the presentation according to the time limit yes sure ma'am uh so i would like to go to the uh, synthesis of azo ligand the synthesis of this azo ligand was done by optimized reaction of aniline and beta naphthol by diazotization reaction uh, the general synthesis reaction of uh, azo ligand is um, an azo based compound is reacted with a strong acid or a, and a sodium nitrite which forms a diazonium salt this is then reacted with a phenol naphthol or resorcinol or a similar aromatic chemical compound which then forms the azo dye ligand it is further attached to metals to form transition metal complexes uh, which have different uh, selectivity and sensitivity Uh, the image over here uh, showing azo dye ligand powder method for fingerprint developing it was used for development of latent fingerprints on non porous and wet surfaces 
uh, this image is the reaction between azo chemo sensor uh, of uh, uh, thiazol thiazol chemo sensor of concentration 50 micromoles in methanol uh, with uh, amino acids of 50 micromoles of amino acids the color change here was observed only with glycine and not with other amino acids forming a light pink to purple color on addition of glycine uh, moving on to fingerprints uh, the synthesized azo ligand of aniline and beta naphthol was used successfully for the development of latent fingerprints on 11 different non porous surfaces and it showed better efficiency to develop fingerprints up to 10 days Uh, the first 9 days of wet fingerprint gives the best contrast with distinct ridges detail but on the 10th day uh, the precision and contrast within the distinct ridges were quite blur so we can say the stability of this azo dye ligand was up for about 9 uh, days the advantages of this azo ligand for a uh, fingerprint was it had a good contrast image and it was rapid efficient and it was very easy to synthesize um coming to the spectral studies of the ligand with analytes the thiazol based chemo sensor um uh, showed color change of yellowish orange to brick red upon addition of uh, arginine the uv absorbance showed a red shift of 389 nanometer to 474 nanometer the ftir of the uh, azo azo ligand was done for its characterization Another azo dye ligand, diheptyl amino dinitro thiophenyl diazinyl phenol, was uh, synthesized. It had a color change of light turquoise to bluish purple in presence of gamma hydroxy butyrate, which is a mimic molecule, uh, which is a date rape drug, which was done on mimic molecule. This uh, this azo ligand showed a blue shift of 625 nanometer to 598 nanometer. Uh, its elemental analysis was done by XPS. another ligand aniline and naphthol based azo ligand was synthesized which was used for developing fingerprint it had a stability of uh, about 9 days um now coming to the uv graph of uh, thiazol uh, chemo sensor with arginine in this uv graph it is clearly visible the peak shifts from 389 nanometer to 474 nanometer also it has been analyzed for interference studies with other amino acids showing no change in the absorbance the red peak is of a uh, uh, thiazol thiazol chemo sensor with uh, arginine and the first uh, first one with blue peak is a uh, thiazol chemo sensor alone and the linearity curve here gives a positive indication of the assay in the validated analytical range so uh, moving on to discussion uh, the papers compiled in the present review demonstrates the extensive ab- applicability of azo dye ligand uh, compounds their transitional metal complexes developed into sensors to detect the varied types of analytes of forensic science such as drugs amino acids and fingerprints physical and chemical characterization of ligand and its metal complex the ligand always exhibits a strong color but their metal complexes may vary in color depending on the metal ions all the ligands and their complexes are stable in air distilled water and common organic solvents the spectral characterization of all the ligands showed uv absorbances in visible range and distinguished color change upon addition of drugs and amino acids additionally ftir and xps analysis were also done for the structural characterization and elemental analysis for fingerprint analysis the synthesized ligand was successfully used for the development of latent fingerprints on 11 different non porous surfaces showing better efficiency to develop wet fingerprints up to 9 days having selectivity and good contrast promising practical applicability in forensic so to conclude i would like to say azo ligands can be successfully utilized for the detection of amino acids drugs and fingerprints with its direct applicability to forensic science these are the references that i have studied for the uh, paper thank you